A man is facing charges after authorities say his truck crashed through a home in Arkansas. The crash put a six-year-old girl in the hospital there. Shea Arthur spoke to the girl's family. The image, shocking. A large white Chevy pickup partially in a home, Carrie Inman, laying in the bed where the wheels were. I heard all over. <laughs> His injuries startling. Black eyes, a broken nose, bruises all over. Right there. His head heavily bandaged after it was cut open. I think they might have said a hundred staples in my head. A blue tarp now covers the hole in Inman's house off West County Road 860, outside of Osceola, Arkansas. Friday night, Inman's six-year-old daughter, Faith, wasn't feeling well. She asked her dad to lay down with her. So I went and laid in bed with her, and she, I fell asleep. And all I remember was waking up, being under the truck, looking over at her, being pinned up between the tire and the wall. Inman saying from there, he went in and out of consciousness. But his wife, Patches, and their other daughter, also asleep, just feet away in the room at the time of the crash. We heard it all, the smell of the truck and everything. And my little girl was pinned between the front of his truck and the bedroom wall. Through tears telling us she saw Dylan Bryans behind the wheel. And I beat on his truck. I begged him to help me get her out. And he said a few ugly words to me and he took off running. Faith and her father were able to get away from the truck. Doctors now closely monitoring the little girl. She was just diagnosed this morning with meningitis. She has cuts, bruises, has lost hearing in one ear. The crash causing her eyes to cross. She's still got fluid leaking out of her ears. The Mississippi County Sheriff saying Brian's was found several hours later walking in a nearby community. He's charged with failure to maintain control of his vehicle and two counts of leaving the scene of an accident. No one answered an address listed for him today. The Inman family, while thankful to be alive, want Brian's to be held accountable. It's supposed to be the, your safe place, and he's took it from my kids. I don't want him just to get away with a slap on the wrist. I want him to have to face what he's caused my family.